Humboldt State tonight now goes inside the HSU locker room. Uh, it's come a long way since we were here last year. Of course, these beautiful couches jo donated by Schaefer's Ace Hardware, fine sponsor of the show. Uh, Coach, uh, pretty good digs. I know you're looking to go a long way, but uh, hey, I'm sure the team's pretty comfortable in here. You know, it's, it's a tremendous upgrade from what we've had and, and just part of a lot of changes that are, are happening here. Certainly, uh, the football offices have moved from uh, where they were up uh, in a very small area adjacent to the indoor uh, student recreation facility to where the old athletic offices are, uh, were at. And, and uh, uh, so that has allowed each coach to have a, their own office. And now we've moved the locker room uh, uh, into, into this area. It was the old women's locker room. The women have moved up to the new facility. So it just gives our players a lot more space, a lot more comfort, and, and uh, uh, just really appreciative of, of uh, Dan Collin and, and uh, the sponsors that have stepped up to help make this possible. All right, now I know you've got some sayings around here. Uh, attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Winston Churchill, uh, stuff all over, little sayings. Who comes up with those, and uh, what's the thought behind putting that up? Well, it's just, it's, it's, our players will spend a lot of time in here, whether it be during the season, where they're preparing for practice or after practice, but more importantly, you know, in the off season, where it's just a place to come when they have an hour break between classes, uh, to be able to come and relax or, or get their laptops out and do some, do some work and, and preparation. So it's just part of, of, of the atmosphere I think we're trying to create. And, and uh, I just went online and, and uh, I had a few that uh, are, are, you know, any, anything about attitude is important and, and big to me. I love, you know, phrases, uh, 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 quotes that, that discuss attitude and character and those type of things. So I kind of looked uh, uh, with that in mind and, and, and came up with some things that, uh, that I thought would, uh, uh, would help the players. And, and uh, you know, again, you want to sit here. So we put up the sayings. We've got the old axe over here on the wall from uh, the rivalry that Humboldt used to have against Chico State uh, before I arrived, obviously, and when Chico had football, still, had football, so, yeah. still had football, and, and uh, the plan is to get uh, get new lockers in here in the off season. Nice wood, open lockers. Uh, we're getting a couple flat screens put in here for the players so that uh, uh, they spend a lot of time in here, and really we want them to spend time and to be around here and to have a place to go in the off season. So uh, that's the whole uh, idea behind this. That's very nice. All right. Obviously, you guys are happy. This locker room was home to a, a, a victory, or I should say, right outside in the Redwood Bowl. The celebration. Homecoming, 34-3. Uh, to 3, You get the win. You send the crowd and yourself home yeah. with a victory. It's got to feel good. Felt very, very good. You know, it. it uh, we, we've made a, a lot of improvement, as we've talked about this season, JB, but one thing we hadn't done was win at home. And uh, two very close yeah, and disappointing, frustrating defeats, first to Western Oregon by one point, then a week ago to Central Washington by seven in the game that we led at, at halftime. So to be able to celebrate, have, have first of all, a, a very convincing win uh, for homecoming for our home fans, uh, a win where offensively, defensively, kicking game, I think we won all three phases, and then to be able to celebrate first on the field and then to come in here and celebrate uh, was a great feeling. So it, uh, uh, let's hope that there's a lot more celebrations like that down the road. Has it gotten tougher in this day and age? I mean, from when you first started coaching, it's amazing. I talked to Tom Wood and I asked him, you know, 20 plus years, coach, what's it like? And he says, um, you know, the winning's harder. Uh, excuse me, the, the loses, yeah. the low losing, he takes that so much harder. And the winning, yet you know, it feels that much better. Is that the case for you? Well, I'll tell you what. It, it uh, when I uh, stepped away from the job at my previous school, Western Washington, I made that almost exact uh, statement where I said I, I had found myself reaching the point where I was not enjoying the wins nearly as much as you should, and the losses were sticking with me far too long. And and that was kind of my the signal that that, that was telling me it was time for uh, a change. And at that point, didn't know what type of change. Uh, right here now, I don't feel that way. It's kind of been a, a rebirth a little bit, I think, for me. And certainly the losses, uh, they hurt, they, they, they sting, uh, and the wins, are, the wins have been really, really good. And, and uh, uh, so I'm, you know, it's been, for me, kind of a chance to, to, to reestablish uh, just a feeling of, of what the game should be about, that uh, when you work so doggone hard, you want to enjoy those, those wins. And, and uh, uh, we certainly enjoyed Saturday night. Now, two years ago, Three years ago, you're out of the game. You know, uh, the one thing you can say, and I never coached, but when you did play, you know, the, the highs and the lows that come with football. I know mm -hmm. I considered getting into coaching when I was done. I said, you know, I don't know if I could handle that roller coaster. You were out of it and living more of a, you know, a normal person's life like myself and most people <laughs> watching this, whereas, you know, there were no wins and losses on Saturday and Sunday. It was just, 
you know, business as usual. Now that you're back at the game, are you happy where you're at? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It, it was interesting. You know, I, I took two years away. And the first year out, uh, people have asked, and I have told them, I said, I, I did not miss football nearly as much as I thought I would, in, thought I would initially that first year. It was fun just to be a fan, fun to, to do things over the weekends in the fall with the kids that I had not been able to do. So the first year out, I did not miss it. The second year out, I, I, I really began to miss it. And, and that second year is what really told me that I'm a coach. That's where I belong, I, and that's what I need to be doing. But it had to be the right situation, and I truly believe I found that here at Humboldt State. All right, this weekend, actually the rest of the season, you're four and three now. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Uh, three more games to go this season. It's kind of the Humboldt State Revenge Tour starts now. Three games that you felt you should have won. Yeah. Uh, and those three losses are the next three opponents. Your thoughts on this home stretch? Well, it's strange how this has worked out. It, it, uh, you know, no one in the conference really likes the fact you have to play each other twice. But in the West here with so few Division II schools, it's just a hand we're dealt. Now, the, uh, based, on, based on how it play, has played out, we have three losses on our schedule. We got a chance to play each of those three teams now over the last three games of the season. Uh, certainly, it provides us with added incentive to go out and, and, and try to, you know, uh, turn the tables in our favor in this and uh, all three games were games that were close games that we led down the stretch a little bit or had a chance to win the game at the end and so uh, we have a great opportunity I think starting this week against what will be the number two team in the country uh, in the National Poll Central Washington then w at Western Oregon then uh, then wrapping up home here at Dixie State so uh, we're gonna start with Central Washington let's hope we can uh, we can do exactly that and turn the tables all right, I hope you enjoyed sleeping in your own bed for a while because it's back on the road, the road for two more weeks. Coach, thank you so much for letting us in the locker room. I'm JB Mathers, and we go behind the scenes and take you inside the locker room on game night next. The equipment shop at Miller Farms in McKinleyville continues to lead the way in outdoor power equipment on the North Coast. They carry all the gear from Husqvarna chainsaws and tractors to still dependable chainsaws, trimmers, and blowers. Check out Miller Farms for the legendary snapper mowers that are built to last, or choose from a full line of exceptional Honda mowing machines. Be prepared for all seasons with a Honda generator. Whatever your power needs, the staff at Miller Farms Power Shop are there to help on Central Avenue, McKinleyville. Everyone wants the best possible mattress for the price. That's what Vern's Furniture delivers. And right now, Englander is delivering us a truckload of mattresses. You'll save up to 50% from extra firm to ultra plush, twin, full, queen, or king. Save up to 50%. You're not going to find a better value on mattresses than at Vern's Furniture. Don't miss our Englander mattress truckload sale. Vern's Furniture, 5th and G Streets, Eureka. Do you like authentic New York style pizza? Come down and enjoy Big Pete's Pizza in Arcata on the corner of 15th and G Street or our new Eureka location off the 101 on 5th and R Street. Big Pete's has 12 beers on tap, 10 big flat screen TVs and arcade games for the kids. Call us up for delivery anytime and let us bring you the finest pizza the North Coast has to offer. That's right, we deliver. Call us in Arcata at 826-1890 or in Eureka at 441-1151. Time now for our Big Pete's trivia. You can win a pizza at Big Pete's by simply sending your answer into jb at jbmathers.com. All right, Rex Chapel, former defensive lineman for HSU and grandfather of former Lumberjack Brad Hunkins, who's also a coach now for the HSU Lumberjacks, was inducted into the Hall of Fame for his work in 63 and 64. That HSU defense had how many shutouts while he was on the team? Send your answers and get a pizza.